A nervous impulse, also called an action potential, starts from the brain or spinal cord to signal skeletal muscle cell contraction. The action potential moves along the membrane of a motor neuron toward the skeletal muscle cell. The junction of these two units, the somatic motor neuron and a muscle cell, is called the neuromuscular junction. The neuromuscular junction is the chemical synapse between the synaptic end bulb of a somatic motor neuron and the sarcolemma of a muscle cell. The synapse contains a gap between the two cell membranes, called the synaptic cleft. The nervous impulses can only travel along membranes, so they cannot move across the gap between the neuron to the muscle. A neurotransmitter chemical that diffuses across the cleft is required to transmit the impulses. In neuromuscular junctions, the neurotransmitter chemical is acetylcholine. As the action potential arrives at the neuron's synaptic end bulb, it causes a depolarization of the motor end plate. This change in voltage opens calcium channels and allows calcium ions to rush into the neuron. This influx of calcium ions causes the synaptic vesicles in the neuron to fuse with the membrane, thereby releasing the neurotransmitter, acetylcholine, into the synaptic cleft. Acetylcholine triggers the opening of sodium-gated channels, flooding the interior of the cell with sodium ions. Increased sodium ion levels generate a muscle action potential that travels along the sarcolemma. The muscle action potential spreads over the sarcolemma and down into the muscle cell. The T-tubules then carry the action potential to the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The cisterns of the sarcoplasm store calcium ions. The action potential triggers a chain of enzymatic reactions that eventually open ligand-gated calcium channels and release calcium ions from the terminal cisterns of the sarcoplasmic reticulum into the cytosol. In a skeletal muscle cell, the contractile proteins are arranged in a contractile structure called a sarcomere. Each sarcomere consists of two smaller units called filaments, which are prevented from contracting by regulatory proteins. The binding of calcium to the regulatory proteins changes the shape of the protein complex. Binding sites for myosin are now exposed, and the filaments bind together. Contraction of the sarcomere can then occur. The release of calcium ions triggers the contraction of the muscle cell's contractile proteins. Click on the sarcomere to learn how a muscle cell relaxes after contraction. Almost as soon as acetylcholine has had its effect on the membrane of the muscle cell, it is destroyed by the enzyme acetylcholine esterase. In this way, a single muscle action potential is produced for every neuron action potential. When muscle action potentials are no longer generated, the release of calcium stops. The calcium ions are actively pumped back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The troponin-tropomyosin complex moves to cover the binding site between the filaments, and contraction ends.